Hi, my name is Beth Tuminello. My channel is Mrs. T Cam Talk, and this is Teacher Tech. One of the questions I've been asked is how I make my videos. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through just that. So I'd like to ask you to please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to turn the notifications on, you can find out when I'm making other teach Teacher Tech videos. So the very first thing that I'd like to do is tell you about the Wacom Intuos tablet. So this is an older version of it, but the newer version is just, um, looks very similar. It just has an entire dark gray or black background, um, you know, instead of having this, this gray edge here. And this connects via USB to my computer. Um, and it, you can see it really doesn't take up that much space. So when I make my videos, all I need is space for a notebook, that's my list of videos I wanna make. These are some notes to myself and I just always have a notebook and a pen and my laptop. Um, that along with my Wacom tablet and a program called Ink2Go is all that I use. So I've brought us to the Wacom webpage and I've actually clicked on the products. Um, and when you click on the products, um, there are different levels of things here. Where I want you to focus on is the Wacom Intuos. That's the one that's most similar to the one that I use. Actually, mine is just an older version of the Wacom Intuos. And you can see that where mine had the white, uh, grayish white space, there's just a nice little um, place for your pen to go in there. So if you look here, you can find out about all the different features. There's some videos and some information. There is a Bluetooth version. Um, I believe there's also a Bluetooth adapter so that you don't have to clog up your USB ports. I prefer just to do it USB and keep it simple. Um, but there's lots of information on this page here and the next place we're going to do or next place we're going to go is we're going to look at the ink to go page to see where you can get the software that i use hi um so here we are on the ink to go website which is ink to go.org and what you can see is that there is a place to download the mac version there's also a place to download the windows version and there is a 15 day free trial now the program itself is only twenty dollars and this program really does pack a lot in for just twenty dollars so the next thing that we're going to look at if you'll follow me along is how i use ink to go and its features to put together a video lesson. So where we are now is in PowerPoint. And in PowerPoint is where I make most of my lessons that I'm going to use for use with the Wacom tablet and Ink2Go. Um, you can also see this toolbar up here. This is the Ink2Go toolbar, um, and it works really seamlessly with my Wacom tablet. So I can actually use my Wacom tablet and move, the, I'm using the pen around on the tablet right now, and I'm using it as if it was a mouse. Um, and then I'm just going to click on my pen. I can pick my color. I really like blue. So maybe I want to point out in this picture, oh look, here I am. I'm holding my Wacom tablet and here's my laptop and I can see what's going on on the screen. I have some molecule models here, um, things like that. The next thing I would do is wipe the screen, go back to mouse, and then I can go to the next slide if I want to, which happens to be another slide of my setup at my kitchen table instead of on my desk. So this is really simply all you need to get started to make these videos with a Wacom tablet. And the next place we're gonna go, if you'll follow me, is to one of my pre-made presentations that I make prior to making one of my videos. So here I have open one of my AP Chemistry PowerPoints. And what I would do is just open it up right from the beginning and go to each slide and go through them and um, you know just present this as if I was presenting in school on the board. So I would actually go to Slideshow and I'm just going to play from the current slide because of the fact that I'm not doing the whole thing, but I would play it from the start. Um, I would scoot my toolbar up a little bit or down depending on the place where you want it um, right here I have this nice blue bar here that's in the you know that's not really showing anything anyway um, so I'm going to just put it there and anytime you want to change slides or interact with the PowerPoint tools you want to put ink to go as a cursor 
And you actually can use the PowerPoint pen and change the pen color here as well. That's pretty much the only thing though that you can do with the PowerPoint tools. With ink to goes tools, you can have a, a pen and you can pick the color, you can highlight, you can draw shapes. Here, let me just move the, the, this out of the way a little bit. You can, you can pick the pen color. There's a lot of different colors you can highlight and you can choose the color. You can draw shapes in different colors. And the most important part here that I like really is the eraser. It really makes it easier for you to um, either erase a mistake or erase and make room for something like that. So for this particular slide, there was information given about the initial concentrations of the reactants and the products. And what I would have set up here is a rice chart. Reaction initial change and equilibrium. And then I would put my numbers in here. I would do some different annotations. Maybe I would write the K expression, which would be NH3 squared Look, I made a mistake. I can go to my eraser and just erase this piece right here. Um, NH3 concentration squared over concentration of N2 times the concentration of H2 cubed. And then I would finish um, solving this entire problem and recording and screen recording my speaking along with it. So when I want to move to the next slide, or if I want to com completely get rid of everything that I've written, I hit the the part to wipe it and then I just go to my cursor and then I can just go to the next advance to the next page and this one already had initial change in equilibrium and then it actually had the words the work written out but I prefer and my students prefer to see the writing as it happens as I'm speaking because it's much more natural when you're doing that in terms of your teaching. It's much more like teaching in person. So something that I've been using is this pause over here and in between clips if you want to change the background of a screen or you want to get a problem set up on the screen before you continue to record you can pause and it will seamlessly put those clips together. You press the pause and then when you are ready to go back you press this turns into a play for you to get started. You can also hit the stop button when you're completely done, but I don't like to do that until I know that I'm finished and there's nothing more that I want to add. So again, this is Mrs. T. Chem Talk, Teacher Tech. My name is Beth Tuminello. This was how I make my videos using a Wacom tablet and ink to go And I'll put down in the description the links to the different things that were used in this video. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.